But first, I have to switch to the U.S. men's national team in soccer. They beat Mexico last night 1-0 in the 117th minute in the second half of the extra time to win the CONCACAF Gold Cup. It's their seventh title in U.S. men's national soccer team history. And we know that when it comes to the American soccer team, the U.S. men's national soccer team, especially in recent years, we haven't exactly been able to laud them or cheer for much. There, there hasn't been much to extol. Uh, we haven't been able to extol the American soccer team in recent years. We obviously remember two years ago when the men's national team, in my opinion, reached rock bottom, hit their lowest point, losing to Trinidad and Tobago in a World Cup qualifier. They lost 2-1. They did not qualify to make the World Cup for the first time since 1986. And that, that was the lowest point in American soccer history. That was absolutely the, the lowest point in American soccer history. And so for the first time since that moment, we finally have something to celebrate and to appreciate about this U.S. men's national soccer team. Because this was absolutely a monumental moment for this U.S. men's national soccer team. Let's first put into some perspective. I really like perspective. Mexico is the U.S.'s biggest sports rival when it comes to international soccer. We share borders. So there's proximity there. There is disdain among the fan bases. The fan bases despise one another. It's one of the longest active international rivalries in soccer that we have in the game, period. Mexico has won 11 Gold Cups. In fact, they were the defending Gold Cup champion in 2019. They've held the edge. They held the edge over the over the U.S. in in seven matches now. But at the time, it was six in the final in the Gold Cup final. They had won five of the six meetings prior to this year. We've played each other seventy one times. They hold they hold the advantage. Thirty six wins. I think it's fifteen losses and twenty draws. So this was going to be the seventh Gold Cup final meeting. And all the history was with Mexico, except that this year the U.S. men's national team was starting to turn a corner. They started to take things more seriously. They beat Mexico in the Nations League CONCACAF final 3-2. to two. That was when Christian Pulisic was with the team and scored the game-winning goal back on June 6th. And you fast forward to this, and now you got Miles Robinson. In the 117th minute, on an in-swinging free kick, in the second half of the extra time, header in the free kick to win, essentially, the Gold Cup final for the U.S. men's national team. The jubilation, the relief to watch that unfold was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful to see. And it's just amazing because not only is this now their seventh Gold Cup championship, because and their first since 2017, because they've won 1991, 2002, 2005, 2007, 2013, 2013, and now 2021. But again, as I mentioned, this is the second time that they beat Mexico in a final within the last couple of months, which is noteworthy. Because, again, this is the biggest rival. These two countries, when it comes to soccer, do not have much love for one another, to put it bluntly. It's a bit more of an acrimonious type of relationship. We, we heard the U.S. head coach call out the Mexican team prior to the game, hoping for a fair game. There's blood, There's bad blood between these two teams. And so... You factor that in, combined with the fact that the U.S. was actually without some of their best players. They didn't have Christian Pulisic, and they didn't have Weston McKinney, among others, who wanted to prioritize their European seasons 
more so than the CONCACAF Gold Cup final. And in that Nations League game match that they won a couple months ago, of that team, only three players were starting for this team last night. Whereas the Mexican national team had eight players from that Nations League final play and start last night. So they were underdogged. They, they were underdogs. They were undermanned. And they they found they found a way to prevail. It was not pretty. In fact, Mexico dominated the majority of the game, with the exception of one shot that hit the post and a little 20 minute flurry in the second half by the US. Mexico was dominating this game. 64% possession to 36%. 22 shots on goal to just 14. They had 11 corner kicks as opposed to just six for the U.S. The U.S. committed 31 fouls. Mexico committed 20. A lot of the stats favored the Mexican team, but as I've said before, stats can be thrown out the window, and all, all that was irrelevant. And now they're just extraneous details because at the end of the day, all that mattered is that the U.S. team converted on the opportunity that they had. It's never about the, the stats or the total number of opportunities you have. It's about did you convert? It's about the conversions. Did you capitalize on those chances to score? And the fact of the matter is the U.S. did. And it was a huge moment for them that hopefully can spearhead them forward, that can hopefully propel them forward into a deeper World Cup run in a couple of years from now. You add Weston McKinney and Christian Pulisic back into the fold, and this was one of the younger U.S. teams to play in the Gold Cup final. They've got a lot of promising players, and so I'm excited to, to see this team. I was excited to see them win. They won six straight games in this uh, matches in this tournament. It was not a fluke, and and it was very impressive what they what they were able to do.